Revolution. It is honestly so fantastic to see so many of you here. I can't actually see where the crowds stop. There are thousands upon thousands of people who have turned out today to make it clear to government that we want to save our A&E and our maternity service at Lewisham Hospital. I'm speaking today on behalf of the three Lewisham MPs, Joan Ruddock, Jim Dowd, myself, and Steve Bullock, Labour's Mayor of Lewisham. We have been united with doctors, GPs, you the public, in standing up in Parliament to say that these proposals are wrong, they are not going to save lives, they are not going to improve health care for people in South East London. And we need to be united if we're going to win this argument and actually win the case for Lewisham Hospital. I also want to say a huge, huge thank you to the Save Lewisham Hospital campaign. It takes a huge amount of work to run a campaign like this. And doctors, members of the public, have put hours and hours into making this demonstration happen and without them the campaign would not be what it is. I think the proposals to shut A&E and maternity at Lewisham Hospital are insane. To close services at a successful, solvent, high performing hospital, to solve the financial problems elsewhere in the NHS is sheer madness. This whole process from the off has been driven by an accountant's bottom line and it hasn't been driven by what is in the best interest for people's health in Lewisham. We know that A&Es and maternity departments across South East London are already overstretched. Let me tell you this, between April 2011 and November 2012, maternity departments in South East London shut their doors on 37 occasions. Women in labour were turned away and told to go to other hospitals. In the last couple of weeks, Woolwich Hospital, the QE2 and King's have both shut their doors to mums about to give birth and have sent them to Lewisham. There are 4,000 babies born every year in Lewisham. Where are these mums going to go? Millions, millions of pounds will have to be spent investing in other hospitals so that doctors and nurses in those hospitals can do the job that our doctors and nurses in Lewisham are already doing very well. The plans for Lewisham Hospital would see the A&E close and the maternity close. Two thirds of the buildings and land at Lewisham Hospital would be sold off. These plans were hidden, hidden in an appendix to the initial consultation documents. How can that be right? It was the worst public consultation I have ever seen in my life. And so today, in being here, this is the way that we have to make our views known. This will rip the heart out of the NHS in Lewisham. And this is why we're here today, to say no to these proposals, to give a very clear message to Jeremy Hunt. And I say this to him, listen, listen to the GPs, listen to the hospital doctors, listen to the people of Lewisham. Don't listen to the administrator that you've appointed, that you paid 5.1 million pounds to come up with a set of recommendations that aren't based on evidence, that will result in poorer health care for people. Jeremy Hunt, listen to what people in South East London are saying to you and do what it says in your own manifesto. In the Conservative manifesto for 2010, it said they would stop the forced closures of A and E and maternity. Well, I say stop them in Lewisham and save Lewisham Hospital. Yeah.